the outside looking in, people have this preconceived notion that marijuana is a weed, weeds grow in ditches along the road and you can just throw it in the ground and voila, at the end of the year, you're, you're bringing in bales of money and um, you know, the, the real reality is it's farming and you're at it every day, seven days a week, sun up to sun down. We bought this farm in 2016. Uh, it used to be an old cider orchard. It sits on a quaternary terrace. It's just this layer of prime soil that exists. Not a lot of places on the map in Southern Oregon. The soil is a basis of all of our production. The soil that we use, it, it is continually getting better, we're continually working with it, we're building tilth, we're increasing organic matter, and we're really looking at the minerality of what exists here. I think Southern Oregon culture has always been uh, live or die, right? We're doing what we know and doing what we love, and we all grew where we lived, we grew what we knew, and um, I think this has kind of created this difference. Oregon's had a reputation for quality cannabis for quite some time, so now to have this opportunity in a legal marketplace and to show what it is that we can do here in this climate, in this terroir. This is an agricultural crop. Farmers are farmers. We tend to the land, we don't tend to the corn or tend to the cannabis. So staying away from market brand varieties and, and really finding things that are unique to us, it has to be a variety that works well here. It has to be something that, that works in our environment. There's, there's something that needs care and you're always 10 steps behind, but it's just waking up every day and putting the time in and, and uh, that just makes it all work. And it means a lot to like hold true to what we know and then to also hopefully keep the door open to learn more. It's an inundated thing because it's what we know. It's who we are. We've been here in that counterculture for decades. Mm -hmm.